bottom over there. What? Oh. Come here. <laughs> How are you? Oh, wonderful. It's beautiful. <laughs> you as well. Good boys. It was one of his kind. Good boy. Good boys. Yep. Good. Alright, I guess we're going that way. Good boys. Don't fall because you're on video. And if you do fall, it's definitely going in the video. There's a trail out right here. And I'm sorry, but I didn't take the dogs down it. They took me down it. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's get some water over here. What trail we hiking, baby? Maxwell Falls, upper trailhead start. Just past Maxwell Falls. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, they did say as long as they're on a leash. They didn't say who had to hold the leash. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. There's a lot of ah-ah because -ah they're trying to knock her down. They're like a little running clothesline. Yeah. Up here to the left, look at this. That's some good bouldering. I don't know. Probably from the top loop once we go around. So we're just doing a little day hike. It's like four point. 4.3 miles. Um, nothing's too strenuous. Maxwell Falls is a pretty look. But we have water dogs and they want to get in the water. And we don't want them to get in the water too much without their lepo shots. I don't know if we go. We're going to take out the old trusty. That leash is soaking wet. Cotrex app. If you're ever out in Colorado hiking, Using Cotrex in all trails is probably your best bet. So this is Cotrex. And right now we are, we either take the trail, the Falls Trail, all the way down to the lower, where we started up here at the upper. So instead we're gonna go left here, this loop. We're gonna take this loop back around to Upper Maxwell Falls again. So we'll see when we get down this trail a little bit. There's something absolutely majestic about being in the woods with your wife, two dogs, and whatever else is out here. All right, boys, you guys are walking fast. Oh, that's a nice spot. The editor's gonna be like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? What is today? September 21st? 20th. September 20th, the Aspens, we're at, we're at like, where are we at? We're at 8,500 almost. Aspens are starting to change this low. Yesterday we were up riding dirt bikes around 9, 5, 10, and there was a lot of change up there. We'll be in full, full change here on the front range in probably three weeks. But if you're looking for change now, the Rocky Mountain National Park area, Kremling, they're probably already in full swing just due to their northern temperature compared to us down here. This is also a multi-use trail. You can mountain bike this. This would be a sweet, gnarly down. You can take horses on it, yeah. Class one mountain bikes are allowed, but no class two and above. Beautiful. Probably 75, 70 yet today up here. There's a cliff. 
Stay. Hold them, babe. He doesn't go, bro. Look at the aspen groves. Beautiful. <laughs> How are you guys? Which way? I think, I think straight, yeah. Yeah, that's upper trailhead this way. Right. Yep. Yeah. What about the leg you just put on? How's that up there? So, so this is the upper trailhead. Mm -hmm. If you go this way, it's 1.3 miles, and then you drop back down, and you'll come out this way. Oh. If you go this way, this is all up, oh. hiking back up. So it's better if you want to do the whole loop. It's better to go this way because you go down. Oh. Unless you want to walk up. Yeah, we parked at the lower trailhead anyway, so we got to go back there. And oh. Walk, so. Then I probably go this way. Yeah. Well, we what just came from that way. Oh. That's going to take you to the upper trailhead. The upper trailhead? Yeah. But it turns funny. We can cross and go back on the other side. Of the uh, ravine and stuff. Yeah, I don't know about that. I know that both of these ways will lead you to the same point, which is the, where you came from, and that'll take you to the lower trailhead. Oh, okay. I don't remember any. I mean, I have the Cotrex app downloaded with oh, okay. offline yeah, we trails. Did, we did this back in June because um, we went this way and crossed over the creek and then went back on the other side, along the other side of the ravine. Yeah, I mean, if you if you go this way, you're going to Upper Trailhead, mm -hmm. and there's no, I mean, there's really no way because Lower Actually, Trailheads. There is a way to cross. Here's Lower Trailhead right here. Yeah, that's where we started from. Yeah. But if you go here, you can. Oh, like get right to here, cross and go here on this side. So this side. this right here. Yeah. That's this. Okay. So if you look, see how my little guy's. Okay. Looking this way, that's this trail. Oh, okay. That's what you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. So. This is the upper. So if you did this one and you want to go back down, you can take this. Okay. It's 1.3 and then it'll, it'll meet you at the end of this one. And then you'll go left right here. So at the end of this trail here, mm -hmm. that's the purple. Mm -hmm. That if you take a right, that'll bring you right back here. If you take a left, that'll bring you back down to the lower trailhead. Oh, okay. So we go this way and then that next Yep. Okay. Good luck guys. No problem. There's my girls. Oh wait, they're guy dogs. Just one girl. Meow. Back about, look. You're okay right there, it's running. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> Get in the water. This is what we deal with. Dick, your turn. Your turn. <laughs> smile, babe. Smile. Give me like an arm raise or something. Perfect. Oh. Go. To the water we go. Yeah. 
You get the zoomies. That a boy. Oh, you guys missed the water. <laughs> Water break. I'll give him a little piece of jerky. Wait. Look at the slobber all over your face. That's my I, cup. It's because I usually bring a bottle and I let them drink from it. See? <laughs> For some reason, our, our animals like running water. All of them. Except for Binks. Binks doesn't really care for it. He'll drink it sometimes. Oh. There. Leash was caught in it. Jack, get to get some water. Not, not off of his lips. Out of the bowl. Good boy. Ah, it's jerky time. We got a mild snack stick. Oh, do you think the best. honey stinger waffles? Come out here or anywhere. They're great. Doggy time. Jack. 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 Hey. Jack. Good boy. Dogs love hiking. Will you want some more? I'll give you some. That's mild. mild? Which one are you giving them? Hot? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hot, right, really? <laughs> Last bite. All right, a little more water, more water. Here, drink, drink. All right, that's it. I'm going. Got about another 900 to 1,000 foot of elevation to go. And then home free. Where you go? Huh? Go. <laughs> Squirrel, he's got a little nut in his mouth. My mom would love this. She used to have a squirrel that would come every day. And she called it bear, or little bear. All right, this is the last leg out. Probably about a half mile maybe. Back to the car. And then I don't know what we're gonna go do. Find something to get into though. There's always something to do in Colorado. Yeah, this, this trail is extremely shady. You always wanna be a steward of your trails. Pick up trash as you, as you hike. And if you're visiting another state or country or trailhead, if you just find one or two things of trash, you're just making a difference. I mean, we're right here at the trailhead and there's trash. It's not a very big distance. Bags, you take your dog bags with you. You don't know how many trails I've been on, and people leave their dog bags of poop, full of poop, just on the side. Nope. Like there's no trash cans. Oh, yeah, are you doing well? Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, on the upper loop, you can look look across and see a bunch of beautiful ones. All right. Hey, you too. Assuming that's baby oil. At least it's in a bag.